just glad to be back and get started focusing on the game. You turned into a comedian. How come we don't hear those jokes anymore? Well, I, I like some of those people. Oh, <laughs> oh, <weird>. <laughs> <laughs> Florida State's got a pretty big front line. Do they do what do they do differently than what you've seen in the pack so far this year? Uh, they're a good defense. We played a bunch of good defenses. These guys obviously had a lot have a lot of highly recruited kids from high school and a lot of talent. So uh, every team presents a new challenge, and you know these guys are right up there with the best defenses that, that we've seen all year. What's Florida State's basic sort of? basic defensive scheme? Uh, they're mostly even front, uh, mix up coverage quite a bit, have a bunch of good guys that, that can run playing it. Uh, so, you know, we've we got to be ready for a lot of things and got to play well. You guys were playing so efficiently offensively in the last three or four weeks of the season. Now you have three or four weeks off. Is that going to be kind of the, the goal for this period of continuing that, that tempo that you had, that rhythm? the way you finish the season to carry over into that, that bowl game? Yeah, you know, our guys have been able to handle a lot of different things this year, from short weeks to injuries and, and battle through all that. So um, I think this team will do a really good job handling uh, the pressure, uh, handling something new, handling some time off. And uh, we got a, plenty of time to practice and, and get dialed in for this one. How deep are you into the game plan process? Uh, we're not very deep in the game plan at all. Um, we've been out on the road recruiting this past week and just getting back to the office, so uh, we'll start taking a really hard look at them and, and deciding on some things today and tomorrow. So is practice today more generic? Preparation yeah, today was we'll shake the rust off and uh, do some simple stuff that we do and get every week back in the rhythm. Is it weird not having Marcus out there? No, Marcus is busy. You know, he's, <laughs> he's on Letterman tonight, yeah. so we, we're going to go ahead and practice without him. Uh, I know he'd rather be here than doing what he's doing. Is it weird not having him out there, though? Yeah, you know, we, we do a lot of things in practice where we don't use him and, and let him watch. Uh, we got other guys that can throw the ball. How do you think he'll do on Letterman? Uh, well, I'm going to watch. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure his top ten list won't, won't be delivered like a, like a Hollywood actor. Or anything. <laughs> but uh, everything he does is heartfelt, so it'll, it'll look right. In terms of game planning, is it the same as a you know, would be for any bowl game or with the possibility of playing one of two other teams in the future, does that change how you how you watch film and that sort of thing as a coach? No, we're gonna we're gonna run whatever we think gives us the best chance to win each game and you know, we don't save anything, we don't look ahead, we haven't done that all year and we won't do it now. Um, we're gonna scheme up the things that we think give us the best chance against Florida State and we'll pick our head up at the end of it and see where to go from there. But will you as a coach watch watch film on Ohio State or Alabama? Or no, just just no. Florida State? No way. Florida State deserves hundred percent of our attention. Your line's gonna be the healthiest it's been since early on in the season. How much does that help in the fourth and bowl? Well I think we'll have more depth than we've had in a long time on the front line. Uh, you know, we should have just about everybody back and you know at, at this point like I said a couple times we have a bunch of guys that have played and a lot of guys with experience so uh, hopefully we can roll some different guys in. When you look at everything he's done how, just how good and important is Keenan Logan this season? Well I don't think you can measure Keenan's importance by even what he does on the field. Uh, you know he, he's one of the toughest hardest working guys, one of the best competitors I've been around, and he's definitely one of our best leaders. So the things that he brings to the team uh, probably can't be quantified. Do you feel like offensively you're healthy overall? I and mean, you said you felt like you were maybe along the offensive line, but the other positions? Yeah, uh, you know, we got a couple more weeks to get ready for this thing, and it should be all hands on deck. Sweet, Scott, yeah.